Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Wine Review Series. A few weeks ago I reviewed Gordon Ramsay Vidanta Bianco and I've decided to go with the punch and review another celebrity wine. This time it's going to be Graham Norton's Rosé, but first of all, who is Graham Norton? Graham Norton is probably most famous for his TV show, which I'm a great fan of by the way. If you've never watched it before, I truly truly recommend it, it's very funny. must be watching Graham Norton's show. But what is this comedian author commentator doing in the winemaking business? So in 2011 a winery from New Zealand called In Vivo started supplying wines for the Graham Norton's TV show. Graham loved the wines so much he launched a selection of his own wines, some of them award-winning, and now he's a part owner of the winery and he controls every aspect of the blending process for his wines. Okay guys, let's crack on. Gonna pour me a little bit of the wine. So let's check the nose of the wine first. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? It's medium, medium plus, which is a really good intensity for a rosé wine. In terms of the aromas, we have definitely red fruit, so think cherry, raspberry, strawberry. I would even actually go as far as to say strawberry cheesecake. And then a little bit of lemon, grapefruit, some creaminess about it, a little bit like a, like a buttered toast as well. So let's see on the palate. The intensity of the palette is matching that of the nose, medium plus intensity, so again very good for a rosé wine. In addition to all the red fruit, lemon, grapefruit, the creaminess, I'm also tasting a little bit of orchard fruit, apple and pear. It's a dry wine with medium plus acidity but very enjoyable thanks to the fruitiness and the intensity, so the balance is really quite good. The finish is medium, but again, very good for a rosé wine. On the label, Graham says, some call it a picnic in a bottle. And I think I would agree, guys. It's a really, really enjoyable rosé. So to wrap up, we have one point for balance, zero points for length, one point for intensity, and I'd give it a half a point for complexity. Overall, it's a good wine, guys. I would recommend it, and I would also give it an extra point for value for money. You can get it for £10 from Tesco, so if you're looking for a rosé for a relaxing evening, look no further, pop over to Tesco, grab a bottle, and you won't be disappointed. So there you go, Graham Norton's rosé reviewed, done and dusted, and I'll see you at the next wine review. See you later. Hi everyone. Hi, fucking good legs. It's a dry white. White. Wine point. Wine point. 